September 11th, the African assassin Ramu Sokoju takes on knockout artist Houston Alexander. To all foam hills. Both are very, very explosive. When they connect, it's lights out. I would like to punch him as hard as I can, as long as I can. I'm getting back to that animal instinct. I'm gonna kick right through him. So could you and Alexander's an epic fight that people have been talking for years about. As a overall MMA fighter, I think uh, I have the upper hand. Once we get in the ring, he's gonna find out that he doesn't have the same skills that I have. Two guys who are gonna eat each other's shots and kicks and punches and takedowns. Somebody is truly gonna eat canvas in this fight. At 26 years old, Ramu Thierry Sokoju possesses all of the necessary talents to be a mixed martial arts champion. He truly mixes it up. Forgets that he's a judo guy sometimes. Well, he explodes wherever he aims. When he's in that aggressive mode, he's, he's unstoppable. His journey to becoming a professional fighter has been longer than most. I grew up back in Cameroon, in my village, home lab. I guess I was just doing too much at the house and my parents needed something to help me uh, get rid of that energy. So that's how I got into judo. I trained Muay Thai, kickboxing for a long time. I did a few tournaments and they said I was good, so that's what took me to America. Houston Alexander is a physical specimen with all the attributes of a champion. The dude is like a human shark. No, no body fat, just one big old muscle. His uppercuts, his hooks, his knees, he just drilled his knees in everybody's face. This guy's gonna come in prepared and he's gonna let everything go. To the outside world, Houston Alexander may be viewed as a ferocious fighter with vicious power. But in the city of Omaha, Nebraska, Alexander holds a different image. Friend and mentor to the people of the North Omaha neighborhood he grew up in. I have this really huge pride about my neighborhood. I, I could have left the community three or four years ago and I decided to stay because, you know, the kids need some type of role model. With me being in the neighborhood, me going to the same store, you know, they, they have someone to look up to. You see him on TV and then he comes here and he's the same old Houston that he's always been. We can ask for a better role model for Nebraska. Ram Yusokuju burst on the MMA scene with a series of stunning knockouts over top competition. He has since stumbled. Endurance and the psychology of youth have been blamed. Stamina has been a question, big question mark in his career. In the past, I'll, I'll go home with a loss, I'll come back in the gym, I train even harder, and by the time fight night comes, I have left everything in the gym. I've learned to control myself and know when to use what. So now I'm just anxious to get in the fight and, you know, just beat some people up. After a string of impressive victories, Houston Alexander was on the verge of a title shot. The decision to change the style and strategy that got him there cost him that chance. I was being taught, you know, so much at, at, at once to where it changes your mind state. Now I'm, I'm getting back to that, 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 that animal instinct. You know, I think my, my striking has got a lot better because, you know, I went back to the basics. You, you let uh, muscle memory take over. I want to go in and I just want to rip people apart. If we're gonna see the Houston Alexander that we saw in the beginning of the UFC, with his uppercuts, explosive hooks, and his knees, his crazy knees, and we're gonna see the Sokuju, who's with his explosive punches, is all over the place, roundhouse kicks out of control. If these two guys are gonna meet, it's not gonna go past round one. I'm gonna kick right through him. When the bell rings, I'll come forward. And that's when I knock him out. And I'll punch a hole on, in his head. I know that I'm quicker, and I know that I'm more skilled. And I'll hit him non-stop until he drops. 